Um, my name is Mohamed Yusuf Boss. I'm a choreographer. I'm from Somalia. I'm creating dance also from more the hip hop perspective. And yeah, this is my fourth production what I make. I make own productions in the uh, context of Exclusive Boss, it's a company what I've created four years ago. And now the club invited me to make a piece. I think everybody carries a story with them and everybody has their own perspective in life. I think the necessity to share stories, I think is something that's really beautiful. I'm from East Africa and I sometimes think that the representation of those stories are less than others and I want to contribute in that like what am I going to give in the, to the future to my own kids that's I think the fire for to create stories but also create a platform for people and also to focus on the human side of, uh, of arts every story is really important has a value I think that's uh, why I make for me Laba is um, really about the image of Somali communities they have a nomadic background and then it's more like what do you carry with you what is important when you make the travel, you need to go in a way as an individual. You change and sometimes you get distance also from your own family. And that's one of the most painful ways of migration. This is a universal side in it. Like what are you willing to sacrifice to find a sense of belonging? And where do you find it? In people, in stuff, in a house? That's our topics where they deal with in East Africa because there's uh, no rain, for instance. And when there's no rain, they still seed. Because if they don't seed and there will be rain, there will be no future. So what is hope? What is the future? What can we do? I think those elements are important in this work. I try to share it with the performers who, where I work with, because they are from uh, different parts of the world. And what's travel for them? Why are they here? We used music from everyone. So we asked them like, do you have lullabies? What carries a story? And then we use those music, maybe sometimes as a reference, but also sometimes we change that music into something new. A lullaby from one of the performers, we use it in one of the scenes. Like it's one a lullaby his mom was singing for him when he was young. So those elements to make it personal, music is for me an emotion. And it's something that can trigger an emotion easily. So we use music to share the emotional world of the story. It was super nice to work with Samir on the clothing. What do you need? Let's, what are functional clothing? In which layers do you carry? Which layers in life? Which one do you leave behind? From the nomadic standpoint, we're trying to find, like, if you would travel, what would you take with you? And what is your home then? How can you be at home in your own costume? Fashion can also represent you. What you wear is who you are sometimes. It's, a, it's also an artistic element of everyone. Like, how do you want to be represented? We will also work with Ascon, a set designer. It's like a big fabric. Uh, it can be a tent, but it can also be the inner world like how they shape it and they can manipulate it as a group. If you shape it, it can be also a uh, landscape. It can be the ground. It can be something where they can relate to, where they have control over. My position in the process is always that I'm also learning. Everybody contributes on their way and I give them a lot of room to do that. We learn, we contribute to the performance. I bring in, they bring their world, so I need them also, so it's an exchange. Yes, I have my role, but I'm not the upper, you know, I don't know. I love to be peer to peer, you know, to work together. It's the way I always want to work, so it's a group process.